Your microphone does not work, Thomas. This is saying, sorry, all your problems. I'm here. You fixed Thomas's microphone for him. Cool. That is also very nice. One of my microphones does not work. Maybe that's karma. Uh, Dave, we have Hank. Peter. Yeah. Nope. So sorry, Mia. Thomas, Hank's not so far away. So if you loud shout really loudly, he might you might get through his microphone. I'm sounding far away. Oh, great. Well, not not compared to me. So. Uh. So to everyone. Just turn and sort of face yourself towards the continent, Thomas, okay? Are you kidding me? Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, this is a little bit uh, um stressful day. So we're waiting for Thomas, is that correct? I'm not the blocker, or am I oh, the blocker? Well, uh, Dave hasn't turned his microphone on and said hello yet, so maybe his doesn't work either. Hello. Uh, um, Hi. <laughs> and uh, uh, so, why am I so silent? Is I'm still silent? My microphone input indicator says I'm close to uh, overdoing it. We can hear you, Hank, just fine. No, don't okay. change. You're fine. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying. You might. I'm just getting trying to get you to turn your microphone gain up so we can hear Thomas. Ah, okay. The <laughs> other thing. No, interesting. Yes, uh, I can make his uh, microphone disappear. I think so. That's fine. Um, pull requests are issues first. We, maybe we can already look at probably pull requests, right? Lawrence is not here. That is hmm. okay. Yeah, we, he, were uh, the, we were in the middle of 154 last time, right? Mm -hmm. We're getting close to being done, but we didn't finish due to lack of time. And I think Michael captured something that was still uh, to be discussed in the uh, maybe even commit. Oh. oh, it's all a blur. Well, uh, if you remember I... uh, the I had added in the text. It's the two paragraphs at like seven ninety one through. Uh, yeah, that whole block of green text at the top was stuff that I had added during the last meeting. Yeah, yeah, I remember you re-edited that. Okay. Yeah. And, and then uh, we have signing material becomes key material. We had a bunch of those. Oh, that's five minutes ago. Okay, so great. Uh, I've been trying I... to refresh my memory as to where we ended. <laughs> yeah. Eight days ago. Okay, so that's just a reference, but what's the comments? The anchor needs to be added. Yes, okay, so he did that. Can I just hit resolve? I think that's resolved. Agree. Um, do we deal with this? Which one? Deal, this part here in the... Uh, eight days ago, which wouldn't be before our previous meeting. Um, that is what led me to rewrite the, basically write the text that we put in up at the top. Okay. All right. And similarly, really, that was your attempt to do it. And I, yeah, so, like, and I kind of had to say, that's the part that's not quite correct. And that's what I wrote the 791 to 797 for. Okay. So I, I, I kept two versions of this. Yeah, yeah. Here, uh, because we hadn't decided what to do. Um, and the text up 791, 797. That was the directly and indirectly, as opposed to, you know. And the, yeah, that one. So all of this is intended to deal with that problem. R right. And of course, uh, 807 was a new point that wasn't discussed until we got into the meeting last week and people said, yeah, put that in. So that was the 807 paragraph, but yeah. Um, 
Right. So now that text intentionally does not use the word transitive, um, but it does use directly and indirectly, which was my terms that so far nobody objected to, but I don't know if people want to think about it more. So I think it's uh, well, just a side comment about 807. I think this paragraph is exactly right, but I think it's kind of interesting. So if I physically possess the device, then it's more secure. But if you physically possess my device, then it's less secure. That's correct, because you're subject to physical tampering. Right. But the point is that I can improve the security through physical possession. Yes, that's right. Right. But I can also decrease the security with the wrong physical possession, right? So it's yeah, yeah. it just says if, how if I can, that if is. I can, yeah, if I can steal your device, then the, or if you have a a camera mounted on the outside of your building versus a camera mounted on the inside of your building, the one on the inside is more secure because you know middle of the night somebody can come and tamper with it if it's on the outside. Right. So so just just as another aside, one of the one yeah. of the issues that in the in the um, pa default password. Uh, guidance that I've been working. One of the issues is that um, um, for some devices, it should be that physical possession of the device lets you reset the password easily. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because so you can reach the reset button. Right. Yeah. Be, uh, and and it should be trivial because you want your your mother to be able to do it, uh, who yep. has Parkinson's. Right. And yes. then other other devices, you have to protect. That's exactly that. That's exactly an attack that you have to prevent. Yeah, think about an ATM machine, right? You don't yes. want to reset that button on the ATM machine. Right. So it's just it's just really kind of difficult that you really need to enable that password <laughs> reset on some things and other ones you really need to disable it. And uh anyway. Uh, okay, so yep. um so this suggestion here, uh is it eclipsed by the rewrite that you've made? Let me check. Eight sixteen. Yes, because that um, uh, eight sixteen was it was a text that I did not write, and the your suggested change is to make it well. Actually, it is eclipsed by eight sixteen to eight seventeen. Those two lines might even be deletable because. Well, that's what uh, I think. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Okay, so let's do that instead. So let's just delete those lines. I think. That's the one sentence version that's now been expanded into like three or four paragraphs. So, yeah. Okay. Um, what the hell? Oh, uh, here's the version where I deleted it. Okay. Okay, you can delete that then. So I can I'll just replace it with blank lines. Delete yeah. the yes delete the suggestion <laughs> and go yeah. with there. We go. All right. So uh, good. Um, Let's show up there then. I haven't committed it. Oh, interesting. We, um, well, no, the point is that that we changed one suggestion to be identical to the other suggestion. Mm -hmm. And then I deleted the first um, suggestion. OK, um, so this let's one, do this. You, you, uh, you can you, you can edit that one because you don't need 816 and 817 to be blank lines. I mean, the green part of the suggested change can be deleted. I I don't care if there's one blank line or two. Uh, you must apply one or more of the suggested changes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you're telling me that I don't need two blank lines. So that's that's fine, but um, you, you don't need any because eight fifteen is already blank line. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. Commit. Redundant. Uh, I think the rest of it. Okay, so eleven minutes ago, you have all right. Let's uh, deal with this. I think you have yeah. or. Well, you can see eight twenty four. It says it's provision with key material, and then it says the signing key material is typically in, and I just wanted those to match. Yeah. I mean, that's your text, so I assume you were talking about the same thing in those two sentences, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then the remaining suggestion here is this text and whether we would like to have this sentence or this sentence. 
those are the ones that my opinion is no reject because that's what the new text at the top was meant to replace because I didn't like that text. So I wrote the other text instead. I'll go with that. Any other comments? Hi, Ned. Hey. Unless, right, so... Hank, unless Hank or Ned disagree, then that's my, my belief is that is overtaken by the text up top. You're saying lines, the new lines 829 through 830, 835 yeah. replace yeah. line, the old 829? No, no I'm no, saying this one could be rejected nine. because of the text at 791 through whatever uh, is the new text that replaces the suggestion. Yeah. All uh, of this text. Directly, indirectly. Yeah. That okay. other part. And with that, we have nothing left to, that we haven't dealt with. This is resolved also already above. I believe right? you're correct. Yeah. I believe you're correct. Yes. Yes. And I believe you can just mark that one as resolved because that was me commenting on. Perform that action, this action at this time. Weird. Okay. Uh, like, okay. So is this we're one now good enough to merge, or is there other hot, hot blocks to talk about? Yeah, I think they were done. Okay, let's let's make that merged. Um, yeah. Uh, this has conflicts that must be resolved. Okay, well, I'll do that in another window. Um, let's move on to a uh, different... Oh, wait. Okay, it just means the checks have passed. Let's move on to a different pull request here. Or issue. So <clears throat> I haven't read 157, but the, I think that points at a general, uh, a general comment around the sort of fluid uh, interchange of entity and role. And even in, even in simple definitions, we kind of get it both ways. I don't know if, if somebody else was going to make a pass, but uh, I think this one to me makes it harder to read. I don't know if there's some simpler change than the text changes on the screen. <clears throat> like, for example, mine 50 might be a verifier or relying party may need, which is fewer words. That's the type of. It's like if you don't want to use entity, then don't use it twice. Well, the problem is the the line is mixing entity and role. Right. So that, that that that's why you can see the title of this one says "Don't refer to verifier or RP as an entity." Um, and so an alternate wording of nine fifty would just be a verifier or relying party may need to learn the point in time. Agree. I don't know if there's simpler fixes to eight to nine fifty eight, but nine fifty is pretty simple to improve, I think. So what is I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna submit it as a suggestion. Nine yeah, nine fifty eight nine fifty eight is actually using it the right way, a verifier relying party, et cetera, et cetera. Just if that work who if that section were consistent about the language, the way it's using it in 958, that seems fine with me. I don't think it needs to be corrected. And then 985 again confuses the two. Any 
in general, that it makes sense to talk about entities when describing trust and keys and talk about roles in pretty much all the other cases. I fixed some of this here. Is that correct, Matt? Um, I did a comment if you want to refresh, Michael. Yeah. And I have to ask, am I audible? Because I don't know. You're audible. Yeah. I didn't hear your question, though. No. Oh, yeah, no, there was no question. I was like, I thought I addressed your comment here about this as being inconsistent. Um, I think Lawrence made the is proposing the changes or yeah, but I pushed to uh, Lawrence's um, um, commit here. There's a there's a in the history it shows that I uh, added something. I think it was this PR here. It was in Lawrence's branch. So I used the web interface uh, that enables you to mess with someone else's branch. Unfortunately, <laughs> well, no, actually, it lets you mess with the pull request, mm -hmm. which is based on this branch. Somehow oh, not. Sorry. That's interesting. It's I wonder where it stores it because it can't store it in the pull requester's place because it's you don't no, have it, access. At Lawrence's place, but it was I was able to edit it in Lawrence's authority. I don't know why this is possible with the web interface, but I can change his fork. You can change uh, his fork. Yeah, it's yes. well when you change the well, yeah. There's a bit he says allow maintainers to edit pull requests, which uh, I guess probably does mess with his branch. Interesting. But you wouldn't think that you could otherwise do. Um, okay. Um, so, so I agree with clarify. Dave Thaler's suggestion on 950. Okay. I disagree with the suggestion on 958. There isn't, oh, you disagree with this suggestion. So you don't think we should change, make this change is what you're saying. I'm yeah, saying okay. 958 I, yeah. re reject what's there is fine. Uh, I would tend to agree with Ned only in the sense of what's there is far more readable and the change makes it harder to read. So I, I yeah. don't have an opinion on the definition of entity or role in this case, but. Yeah, and then disagree. I don't like either of what's. <laughs> do, do, do you want to submit another suggestion, Ned? Well, I would just I would just apply the change that you had done earlier. Oh, okay. I see. Oh. Uh, let me try that then. I see what you're saying. I don't know if I'll like that or not, but let me try it here. And you could say solely on the appraiser. That's interesting. Uh, that's not what I was going to do, but I like that. So let me change what I'm doing to, to, to do what you said. <laughs> Lower, yeah. But it's a, it's sort of a lowercase, you know, appraiser. Uh, I can't. It won't let me. I have to wonder if I have to do it in two different comments. I think. Um, I think I have to do it in two different comments. It won't let me span the red text in the comment. No, that's right. You you'd have to change the green text to whatever it is you want it to say. The okay. red text is the old text, so you can't change no, the old No, text. I understand. But I was trying to start at line 984, which is before the red text, and I can't highlight 984 down through the end of the green. It won't let me do the plus minus with that. Yeah, uh, right. Exactly. I, I wonder if I can manually do it by not using the plus minus, but by copying in. Let's see. I'm going to try it. You want to change appraising entity to, to appraiser to make it a role-ish term, correct? Yeah. So remove it from the entity semantics, okay. It's for readability, but I think people yeah, look okay. at it, right? I, I attempted uh, to do what Ned said. Please refresh. Yeah, it's not going to quite own oh, 2984. Okay, yeah, all right. So somehow you did it. Cool. Yeah, you can see the red and the green bush. You open the red at the suggestion. It was weird, but uh, uh, yeah. But it let me do it. And there's a. Although did, I don't know you if you have the option of an, an open paren. For... No, it doesn't work. Look. 
I'm flying yeah. suggestions on deleted yeah. lines, not supported. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to delete this and do it. Uh, do it two different things. I'm just going to delete the comment and do it again. So let's. Yeah, let's okay. Do so hold on. Okay, go ahead and refresh. Not broken in two. Uh, um, sorry, I did it wrong. I, I, I copied the green and not the, the, the red. I need to fix the, the second one. So don't merge the second one. Okay, I th think I got it right this time. Please refresh and check. Yeah, so now if you look at the uh, red 985, the only difference between the red 985 and uh, mine should be deletion of entity comma. Although technically there's a line break too, but it shouldn't matter either way. All right, let's commit these suggestions and um, let's just see and what the result again. is. Yeah. Okay. So now, did this work out in the way you were anticipated? So were you going to commit 950? We got it. Uh, uh, well, it the is. change is there. So the the, the, um, uh, the, the suggestion is, is changed now. I, I have a question for Ned, if you can expand the middle part to go back to the one that we rejected. Uh, okay, so you can see 957 is the line that I want to ask Ned. Yeah, you can see... Freshness is assessed based on a policy defined by the consuming entity, verifier, or lying party. Um, now that we've changed the other one to appraiser, um, do you think that the consuming entity here should also be the appraiser? Is the question. Mm. Or do you think that it's correct as is? But, um, it says 58. Clarify. Oh, you're saying should that just be the appraiser? Yeah, because that's what we that's the, the saying. The, yeah, the consuming the, entity. We would yeah. say the appraiser. Yeah, if you if we defined it up earlier, <clears throat> or does that definition come below? We don't use the term appraiser anywhere in the document. We're kind of using it in context here. I mean, in nine, the lower case, nine eighty four, we use the term, and then we. Ie at in 985, and then wow. we. So if we wanted to kind of use appraiser throughout these paragraphs, okay. then we should, I, you know, do an Ie on okay. the first use, and and then. You so don't let get me. After the, that. Um, what was it? 957. Uh, I'm going to try doing the same thing 
up there and see if you like it or not. Unless, unless you want to do it, I'm going to try to do the same thing up at nine fifty seven. Go ahead. I'm not sure how we would do it. it, it we don't get a plus here. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 No, me, <clears throat> the only way to do it is on a separate machine. So, okay. So I don't want to do it. I want somebody else to do it. Because <laughs> you, okay, you have so to modify the pull request. Uh, right. So let, can we accept it and then yeah. and then do that? So that's fine with um, me. Yeah. Confirm merge. Um, okay, so we don't get to delete it because it's his branch. Okay. Um, code. Do you want me to do it in the editor here? Sure. A little pain in the butt. Uh, just search for the word consuming. Sure, I can search within this consuming. No, oh, because it only search, searches on what's in the oh, view. Okay, it was nine fifty seven. Yeah, nine fifty seven. was following freshness it's different it's in a different spot freshness right. is based on the policy of the of the appraising party. yeah if you want to so if you want to do a cut and paste just scroll down to a couple paragraphs to where it has it and then try to copy that same phrase so where it says appraiser at the end of 1016 so from appraiser comma down to the end of uh, two lines down where it says attestation results in parentheses comma. Yeah, that. Is that what it goes like that? Yeah. Well, okay. Let me read it and see. Um. Yeah, although now I would say need change the parens. The, change which parens? Um, no. Maybe it's correct, but it seems clunky. I mean, you can see in nine ninety seven we've got the parens there too. Yeah, I know. It just seems weird. So, consistency. Okay. Um, So you want to put appraising party, something the appraising party here? No. Um, actually, I like the term appraising party better than appraiser, but uh, I'm okay either way. Meaning throughout, meaning in all three places. But what do you think? Ned, you were the one that suggested appraiser. Do you prefer appraiser or appraising party? Um, um, I, I think appraiser is fine. It's like okay. we say party, then we say, well, is that an entity or what is it? Okay, fine. I don't know. Um, the other thing that I might change is 989. I might change defined by to something like in. It's technically, it's defined by whoever configures it in the the appraiser. And we, in, in, in essence, we're saying that the policy is the, the policy for evidence or the appraisal policy for attestation results. <clears throat> yes, right now we're saying so, so, the freshness is assessed by the appraisal policy. You, you are right. Based uh, on a uh, policy in the appraiser, which is... Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, we could simplify that whole phrase then. If you could say freshness is assessed based on the appraisal policy for evidence or attestation results. And yep. not even have to mention verifier or line party. And that's it should be capitalized. Appraisal policy for, for evidence or attestation results. Period. Yeah. Uh, well, otherwise you have to connect it to 992. So it would be a comma if you leave. Some, yeah. Because now. Comma. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. There you go. That compares. Make yeah, seems word, words lot. that is okay. Yeah, because it's Freshness the policy that compares. Yeah, I think it's okay. 
Okay, and then down here, do you want the same thing then? Actually, I think it reads better down here to huh. leave it like it is. Yeah. Uh, we can simplify that if you just delete appraiser IE. Yeah. Yes, I think that reads clear. It's easier. So you want to go to ten sixteen, make the whole thing consistent? Um uh, that's a good idea. I do like that, yes. If you delete the appraiser IE in ten sixteen. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Good idea, Ned. Okay. Do you want to me to make this a branch or do and then review it or do you want to um just go ahead? We can look at the diff. I say go ahead. Don't care. Okay, so that's what we wound up with. With, with this, what? just this part just being a pulling a splitting a sentence up. The on this, the, okay. these, this is not. There's yeah. no editor. This is uh, formatting. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's go on here. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there is a there is a little error there. Okay. Um, it says the appraisal pol in line nine, nine ninety three. It says the appraisal policy for evidence comma might change immediately after the station results was generated. If you just remove the words for evidence, then it'll be more correct. Uh, you are true. You are correct. <laughs> I agree. That's why it needed to be a okay. I get to this back to where we were. Um, Good catch. Uh, so I'll just do this in my editor because it's easier. Um, so sorry, that was uh, nine ninety three, and you want to remove the word might Two change immediately it. after the. Evidence. Remove the words for and evidence. Leaving the comma. Yeah. Um, the other possibility is you could have a uh, policy be plural and say policies. Yeah. Okay. Instead of just delete for evidence, put it policies plural. Yeah. And you want uh, the comma would disappear now. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm just pushing well, it just a second. Okay.
with probably lowercase policies, do you think? Or we get it. Um, it would probably be. Remember, it's I, it's, I think it's it, appraisal policies. It just by itself not defined. So effectively, right. net is correct. I yeah. actually think it's. I have a neutral on this. <laughs> we it's just uh, in nine okay. in, in nine ninety we d we use lowercase policy. So it's just inconsistent. It, but it's wrapped yeah. to the word appraisal appraisal well, policy. The, the, oh. The, the the reason I wanted to change to plural is because it's actually either or both of them can change. I mean, there's three things that could change after you know evidence or attestation result was generated, right? The, yeah, the state I, of the tester, the appraisal policy for evidence, and the appraisal policy for uh, attestation results. Yeah, I, any I, of those three could change. I, I agree that it's plural. Oh, and the oh, question I'm is, the, the consistency gods want to know if it's a lowercase p. Um, so, so this yeah. is why I think, let me just, I just moved the word. Let me I just okay. see. Uh, no, I moved the word. Come on. <laughs> I, I think I have to hit reload on this page because it's probably still looking at the previous commit. This is why it should have been a branch. Because mm -hmm. then we could have edited it better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can. Okay. So, so, so I just, I, I moved the word appraisal down so that you can see that it's appraisal policies. Yeah. But okay, it's capitalized. So, right, so I think Hank's point or whatever somebody's point was that appraisal policies with that label is not in the glossary. And so that's, well, that would be the argument why it doesn't need to be capitalized there. Just like it's not capitalized in 990 because it's only appraisal policy for evidence and appraisal policy for attestation results. As the ah. terms in the, in the glossary, and so we yeah, either we make the editor's them. life easier, I think. Yeah, Sorry. so you can either lowercase them, or you can spell out and say, "And the appraisal policy for evidence, and the appraisal policy for attestation result." Now that's kind of long, but that would be correct if you wanted to capitalize it. So, um, in but the introduction, in, in the introduction, in the second paragraph, we say okay. appraisal policies uppercase. Oh, okay. If you and uh, we have a heading plan. appraisal policies. Okay. And we yeah, say uh, appraisal pitch. policies. Maybe we've missed it in the terminology. No, it is an artifact. Yeah, just leave it as is. Um, again, sorry, I have to highlight that uh, it is written capitalized because we at the beginning had only one type of appraisal policies, therefore yeah. did not specialize it for evidence. Therefore, it is a standalone capitalization. It's an artifact. It's old. It's not consciously written that way with uh, evidence and um, uh, registration results both in mind. So I have to highlight this. That's an error. Do you want them, so do you want the inconsistency consistently lowercase then? I assume... Yes, I assume that is the most feasible way to do it, especially if we are talking to the editor in the end, because they were, he were like, uh, okay, your reasoning is glossary, and this is not in the glossary. I don't want to have this all over again. So um, <laughs> yeah, it's anticipating that. I agree with Hank. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, and I see what you're saying, Michael. I, yes, I, it is appraisal policies exactly that way with capitalization several times in the document already. Right. So, but we're going to make it all consistently lowercase unless it's appraisal policy for foo. Well, yeah. Uh, and so I have a question here. For both appraisal policy by itself, which it appears exactly once that I've seen so far, as well as appraisal policies plural. Right. Go ahead, Peter. Um, why do we even care about this race condition? I mean, because if the appraisal policy changes, who cares when the evidence was generated? You know, it's a question when it's presented to the appraiser. And the only time that you would ever care is if the appraisal policy was changed after you've already granted whatever um, service or request that was associated with the trust decision. And so there's a, a question about needing to reappraise and having some sort of interval where it's good for. But the, the fact that the policy changed after it was generated, who cares? Because you, as, as long as it's a fixed time, if it was in route or whatever, no big deal. The answer is no. I, I think it's all I'm trying to point out, which is sort of what you said. Let's say you do the appraisal at the time that you establish a TLS session, and then you send a request across that session. By the time that you're acting on that request, 
the appraisal um, may not reflect the current um, intended um, uh, access status. Yeah. Yes, I wouldn't really call that a, 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 a race condition. I would say that that's a limitation on attestation in general. So anytime anything changes, you know, the, the, the system itself may have changed, the, and the evidence could be stale by then. You know, there's always a win, window of vulnerability there. Uh, and unless you're going to continuously appraise, which isn't really possible, um, right. it, this kind of conditions it, exist. So, right. It's a right. distributed system, and consistency is one of the trade-offs. So I, I, I agree with the use of race condition seems like it's not used quite right. But I I think the it's important the, the general the general <clears throat> concern around how you know consistency uh, you know, you know it's sort of we're, I think we're trying to describe what some of the some of the you know gotchas are relative to consistency and there's going to be consistency ch challenges both on the policy side changing and on the uh, evidence side changing as well as on the endorsement side changing or endorsement and and I mean, but this is a really a, a limitation yeah. on the technology. It's a theoretical yeah. limitation. It's not and yeah. to hide it. If you want to make highlight this in the document, it doesn't really belong in some discussion about freshness. It it, it really uh, mm -hmm. belongs in some larger discussion about attestation and saying what is attestation good for. And then here's a limitation that you're always subject to. This this, this condition yeah. is yeah. possible. So I disagree that it does not belong in a freshness section, but. I mean, right now we're talking about the, la the, 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 the label here. I'm wondering if this, uh, Michael, are you going through? Yeah, I'm going through them. Yeah, I'm going through them. We're the just path. stalling. All right, we're just stalling until we're ready for you to do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Carry on. I mean, I think the text in 994, the starts in 994 and continues off, I think is still important and relevant to the limitation. And saying, yeah, there's some, at some point you have to accept some, uh, you know, updateness is just a regular limitation. And that's the whole point of the re the freshness and recency discussion. But yeah, it's a separate pull request. If there's a change necessary, it should be in a separate pull request, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm yeah. not convinced that a change is necessary, but I, if somebody wants to propose it, I'm open to listen. So. I, I just think that a more a more thorough, um, you know, like if you wanted to say attention to a limitation in that instead of race condition possible, you know, that's you know, I don't have any objection to that, but yeah, but so, somewhere it makes sense to just if we're going to talk about it in one case, I don't know, maybe it makes sense to talk about it in all cases, or maybe maybe it's obvious if we talk about it in one case, people can infer the other cases. I don't know, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> okay, and And this is the result. I'd like you to double check this. Um, so the appraisal policy on its own shows up in the diagrams um, here. And this is, I'm a little bit uncertain because it's quite clearly yeah. the verifier's appraisal policy. Okay. We just didn't write appraisal policy for verifier. So I don't know if you want that lowercase there. Ditto here, relying party. Uh, another diagram, same problem for background check. I think your changes are good enough. I mean, the ones you've showed on the screen so far, meaning looks okay. There's the one we, uh, ju that's not the one we just changed. Mm -hmm. I have this anxiety that it's a, a appraisal AI, I A S L A. <laughs> And I'm like, going, is it right? Because <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, keep going. Uh, 
Okay, I approve. Second. Okay. All right, 10 minutes to go today. Uh, we have a Friday meeting scheduled for an hour later. Um, and there's a won't fix label on one. Is that one that can be closed or what's the status of the won't fix? Yeah, so that was one, we wrote, rewrote 141 uh, already. We decided we weren't going to fix it. I added the label, but I didn't want to delete it just yet or okay. close it. I guess I'll close it. Close or abandon or something, but I don't know what. what so so I'm, I'm surprised. Is this addressed? Yes. I think maybe addressed by the 154. That's our belief. So. OK. Yeah, then I uh, edit my stuff to the wrong yeah. PR, apparently, yeah. back to the days. Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. Actually, close with comment, yeah. Uh. All right, I'm going to merge this one, assuming it, it works in the XML. And I think that was the problem. Um, revised privacy considerations. And then this was about the systems examples. I thought we were universally against that at the time. Highway. Yes, I think our feedback was better in a different document. <clears throat> yeah, it's I... distinct enough that we can separate this out. I think Lawrence was not uh, really uh, unhappy with it. Uh, he just, uh, I think we have to make sure that he gets the help that I kind of promised and, um, <laughs> and that this happens. <laughs> yeah. So it should not be a, uh, I don't know, uh, we should not table this fiber or something like that. Uh, so what was this in the end? Oh, this this uh, that was this text. That yeah. was a wall of text that was deleted that we didn't want deleted, and then PII. Yeah, I don't think we got anywhere with this in the end, and I don't think we will get anywhere with this. Yeah. Um, yeah, I find this this invasive change is very hard to discuss because you cannot compare anything because it's all gone and replaced, and that's that's kind of difficult for us to uh, have at this point actually. So uh, unless we agree here that uh, this is really really required to be reworded from scratch, um, uh, I, I just fear that if we lose something here, so the rejectors, there are some I don't know smaller uh, bits that are actually feasible that, that just go away. So that's by that's something we could have asked Lawrence, but he's unfortunate here today. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if there's anything important in this one. I don't remember. I second this. <laughs> so, right. so maybe I can ask Lawrence to uh, uh, really, really consider not bringing this up. But if he finds something <laughs> uh, vital, they might have a smaller PR then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a bunch of still open issues. Um, and I guess the question is, is there some things that do we, I can go into these? We can walk through um, these. Is 132, is that now done with the, uh, like the, the 154 pull request that we did? Yeah, I think it is. It just wasn't referenced, uh, I would just say. Yeah, here you can see direct. Yeah, I'd say, yeah. Yeah, I'd say fixed by 154. Mm -hmm. Time considerations regression. Oh, that's Back an old June. issue, I think. I don't even remember what that one is, even though I filed it. 
Ah, yes, that one is now uh, fixed. That that was when uh, Hank and I met together and redid the uh, handle distribution and put in the primes and so on. So, yeah, you can see uh, Hank merged 145, and so it's fixed by 145. You agree? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It actually, the, the comment uh, where I referenced this here uh, says yeah. that it's basically done. Yep. Yep. I agree. So if you write in your comment, close by number. Yeah. Or fix fixes. Fixes, fixes issue. issue. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, he should say close issue. Not. Well, I don't know if fixes works. It's close definitely works. Uh, okay. What are role compositions? March. Oh my God. <laughs> Pre-pandemic mm -hmm. comments. Yeah, that's the thing I thought. <laughs> no, not really. Oh my god. Yeah, this, so we have to can see if the text even still exists. So section four three. Uh, section four four titled role composition. Is that even more? Composite devices is four four. Do we use topological models? Um, yeah, the document up. Opposite devices, and we have Layered devices, layered attestation environments, and then we have composite devices. Is that the issue that that we have environments and then one, and then we have devices in the other? Um, so we're using there. terms like topological models and role compositions, and just ter terms that didn't have definition. Yeah. It, what I read, Ned, your comment, if I'm understanding your original comment here. Uh, the second little paragraph is um, one of them has is prefixed with conceptual data flow four, and the other one was not. You can see figure two is layer test chair, while the other one is conceptual data flow four. Mm -hmm. and it looks like your last thing is in figure two to be conceptual data flow four. So I'm reading it as uh, inconsistency in terms of conceptual data flow four versus not. Yeah, so right now we have layered attestation environment. 4.3, and we have 4.4. Uh, diagrams. Opposite composite devices um we added a section which is why the numbering changed um can we look at the two diagrams on the screen to see what we're talking about between figure two and figure three yeah because uh, i saw and assign this to me and i will fix it uh comment in there and i don't know if that there was a pull request ever generated um Okay, so that's layered attestation. That's one diagram. Uh, I don't see anything. I don't see any screen. Are you still sharing? I'm still I see sharing. a screen. Huh. Yes, it went away for me. Uh, Kate, stop sharing for you, and then you oh, didn't get a feedback. On. It says it's starting to share content. So I don't know if you stopped. It's okay. Now I see it. Okay. So that's one diagram. Two types of environments. Okay. Okay. And then here's the other diagram. Layered attest attester. Okay, so that's the new. Okay, so the, those are the titles that's, since that thing was filed. Okay. Yeah, and so that's then fine. we have a composite device. We have conceptual data flow for a composite device. Okay, interesting. Okay, yeah, because yeah, yeah, the conceptual data flow for in this one, if you scroll up to any of the previous ones, it looks like it's a similar types of arrows and things yeah and so this one doesn't say conceptual data flow for a layer to tester it just says layer to tester so is that that's we... main point then yeah maybe you'd want to delete conceptual data flow for in the other one so so you want to make that it not have to say the word uh uh conceptual you want to remove the word rather than add it both places 
Um, I don't I'm know if that's a preference, but that would be my preference. When you say so, do you want to? So, do you want to just have it just says composite device, or does it say data flow for? I would say device? composite device, but that's only because so uh, <laughs> like figure three is just layer to tester. So we looked at a couple different figures, right? And I think that's the most consistent. But I'll I don't know if Ned has an opinion. So. So <clears throat> I think it's just with a discussion on the way that the different different roles are can interact with one another, and uh, and we give the term so we and so we give we sort of in the one case we we say it's a composite device is a thing that has multiple has these sort of interesting interact. But then the previous section, which is, it's, we don't call it a layered device, we call it layered environment, or we call it layered a tester. Uh, I think uh, that's uh, actually intentional. Go back to the uh, composite device one. I just want to check my thought to see if, I, okay. So you can see this one has multiple attesters. You can see a tester A, B, and C are not layered. They're three independent attesters. So this one you can't call an attester because there's multiple attesters here. In the layered attester, there is only one attester. A single attester has multiple layers. In this one, you have multiple attesters, each of which could have multiple layers. I see. So you're saying it's we would consider the layering as a single attester. Yes. And this one says you can put multiple attesters together and still use a common channel, you know, protocol channel to the verifier. We would have a <clears throat> we would have the case from the verifiers. For it would, I mean, it would get separate evidence for each. Yes. It would, and so it would treat it as if it were each a different attester. Right. So if you look at but lead it's all on the, A, it, yeah. If you look at lead attester A, that's a box that only has two environments here, but you could complicate that with all of the previous figure would be inside lead attester A. Yeah. So if you, if you, if instead of trying to, trying to, um, in figure three, instead of trying to specialize the role, if you did what we did in figure four, which is a type of device, in other words, it's a layered device, lead then you figure, figure three is equivalent to the lead tester A box in figure four. It's not the whole diagram. And here it's called a lead tester A. It's not lead device A, it's lead tester A. So that's why the other one's called. Yeah, we had a long conversation about that when we did the diagram, right? Um, so that's why I would just present the data flow for A and that part so, I agree with that on. So, so you, you okay. Um, so the proposal is to do that, I think. Yep, that's after reading Ned's uh, issue, that's what I believe the simplest fix is. That doesn't have to, that doesn't cause us to repeat any of the long discussions we already yeah. went through. Yeah, so I agree with that, that simple. Um. <clears throat> uh, I will note that it's after the top of the hour, so we should finish up soon. So. Yeah, and actually, I have a phone call that I have to take, but you okay. could continue, okay? Okay. So, it's, so most of this section is, most of this issue is a, uh, relates to Section 5 and terminology use there, so I don't know if that's still... Issue there, but uh, so just looking at the text in here, my personal opinion at the moment is just deleting conceptual data flow for a should be sufficient to close this issue. But I don't know if there's something else you had in mind from this issue. I'm reading through, I'm reading through the uh, issue 71, right. Account. Yeah, it bounces around, talks about section 5152. I don't see that in the uh, This was, I'm looking at we're, we're on issue 73, 73. We're on number issue 70. 71. I'm on 73. Okay. Maybe uh, I'm on the wrong one. About 71. The, the, uh, the conceptual data flow 4 was 71. Uh, okay, well, that would make, that would. So, there my, we go. Uh, okay. is, my belief is 71 uh, should be closable with just deleting those words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Okay. I was on the wrong. I was on the wrong one. Okay. No, we didn't start talking about seventy three. I think so. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, so given given down. we're top of the hour yeah. and we weren't planning to go beyond, then maybe we stop there. Yeah, I agree. We can resume on Friday. Okay. Thanks, Ed. Okay. Was there an invite? I, I got an invite. Actually, okay, a, then I have to check this again. Yeah. Um, let me verify it was sent by. I got an invite from Michael, and it's for one hour later on Friday. Okay. I don't have the invite. Oh, oh, I actually accepted it. Yeah, it's there. Sorry. <laughs> it looks so similar. Yeah, I have the invite. Sorry. Okay, great. Okay. All right, then I will see you guys on Friday. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Have a good day. Bye.